30 degrees below zero, the polar bear is comfortable. Like other Arctic animals, they've adapted to thrive in these conditions with two layers of thick fur and small extremities to conserve body heat. You don't have those adaptations, neither do we. So when we build trail gear, we begin with the concepts of inside and outside. We could stay inside where it's warm and dry. You could too, but it's not an option for any of us. We have to ride. So our trail gear really starts in the outside, not the exterior fabrics, but even further outside. Like from the perspective of someone else coming down the trail at 60. We know the risk of crashing with another rider, so we found the best 3M Scotchlight reflective technology we could and laid it out in a pattern to help other riders identify you as a human shape. We call this biomotion recognition. Frozen lakes and trails will put you through some of the most vicious winter elements. For the conditions that dedicated trail riders face, we had to build a breathable barrier against cold wind, water, and snow. There is no better option for protection than Gore-Tex laminates combined with our series of durable exterior face fabrics. Being cold and wet will accelerate the onslaught of hyperthermia faster than most people realize. So this is where we get to the inside. We need to keep moisture from your body from collecting inside the gear. So we use moisture wicking fabrics and synthetic 3M thin slit insulation that's highly resistant to water absorption. This insulation will keep you warm, even if it's wet. And in the winter, being wet can be a death sentence, especially if you're halfway through the ice on a frozen lake. So in order to make water drain from the bibs and jackets as you pull yourself out, every bottom hem in our trail gear is open mesh. It's designed to help protect your life. And like the polar bear, our trail riders can experience temperatures well below zero on a regular basis. The solutions we end up with, to put it simply, provide an ability to stay warm without feeling stuffy, to thrive in harsh elements, and to remain visible in bad conditions. Through intelligent design, we get a superior ride.